Hey y'all, I am glad to see you today. Our book today is called Boom! Big, Big Thunder and One Small Dog. And I love this book. It's really cute. First of all, I love dogs. Um, and secondly, it cracks me up because my dog isn't scared of thunder at all. She's not scared of storms. They don't even phase her. She is getting scared of fireworks though as she gets older. So I don't know if you have dogs and if they're scared of, of loud noises. So this might interest you if you do have a dog or a cat who's scared of loud noises. So I'm going to read our book. You know, I probably should have read it last week when it rained and thundered all week, but oh well, it's been sunny all this week. So let's hear about Rosie and the dog. Although Rosie was a small dog, she was unusually brave. Just like the boy she knew best. See, there's the boy. He's riding his bike. She wasn't afraid of tigers, though she didn't have to prove this because no tigers lived nearby. She wasn't afraid of orange cats or orangutans, or at least not their pictures in books anyway. She wasn't afraid of garbage collectors, postmen or postwomen, policemen or policewomen, firemen or firewomen, or even the sirens on fire trucks. A car wash or waves or taking a bath, she wasn't afraid of those either. My dog doesn't like baths, so. Rosie must like them, but my dog doesn't. She had no fears of shadows at night. Feather duster, vacuum cleaner. She wasn't afraid of those, but she was afraid of thunder. When a storm began to rumble, this small dog, who was usually a brave dog, wasn't. Boom! He told her it was, sorry, I skipped a page. The boy offered her a biscuit, but Rosie wouldn't eat it. There was no comfort in a biscuit. The boy tried singing songs, but there was no comfort in a song. The boy told her thunder was watermelons rolling from a watermelon truck. He told her it was a block fort falling. He told her it was hot clouds popping like popcorn. But the little dog knew. Dogs are smart. She, he knew. She crept under a table, except it wasn't safe there. The sky could still see her behind the sofa, under a rug, inside a sock. None of those. What if she closed her eyes? She couldn't see the sky, but the sky could see her. Boom! The boy may have felt a little frightened too. The thunder was big thunder. He thought about a safe place and then he knew just where to go. His room, a little square room with his bold blue bed in the center. Then he lay against the dog and the dog lay against him and they made a circle that filled exactly where they waited for the thunder to tire. <laughs> I snuggle with my dog like that too. But the thunder wasn't tired. It clapped, growled, and crackled. Clapped and crackled. It clapped, growled, and crackled more until it clapped one last dismissive clap. It growled one small last growl and it yawned. The boy heard the calm. He heard the quiet. So he told the little dog who heard it too. And Rosie barked at the stillness. The end. 